Hi, this is problem 19 from the 2018 AMC 10A. A number M is randomly selected from the set 11 through 19, and a number N is randomly selected from 1999 to 2018. What is the probability that M to the nth power has a units digit of 1? Oh boy. Okay, looks like we're probably going to have to make a table to try to sort out how some of these multiplications work. Now, since we're only dealing with the units digit, we can ignore the tens digit in the base of these exponents. So let's write a table of the units digit of the bases for our exponents. So the units digits go from 1 through 9. And it looks like we're going to take multiplication powers of these units digit to try to construct what the units digits are when we get out to exponents of 1999 all the way to 2018. And let's see, it looks like we have 20 numbers here, so that's convenient. And let's see, so normally for these problems what I like to do is look at lower exponents and see if I can identify some repeating patterns that I can use to determine what's happening at the higher exponents. So let's go ahead and do that. So 1, 3, 5, 7, 9 is the exponent of 1. And we're going to calculate some examples of exponents of 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, just to see how that works. OK, so 1 is pretty easy. We take exponents of 1. We still always get units digits of 1. So it's no surprise that we'll probably have units digits of 1 all the way out to these higher exponents. For the units digit of 3, 3 squared is 9. Square uh, 9 times 3 is 27. 27 times 3 gives us a unit digit of 1. Times 3 gives us a unit digit of 3. So this starts repeating with a period of 4. So that's helpful. So what that means is that as we go down this table, one-fourth of these entries will have a units digit of 1. So basically one-quarter of these entries will contain the units digit of 1. Okay, let's 5. 5 squared is 5, and all exponents after that is still 5, and 5 down here. So none of these will give us, say, units digit of 1 in the higher exponents. Let's try 7. 7 times 7 is 49. 9 times 7 is 63. 3 times 7 is 21. 1 times 7 is 7. So again, this starts repeating with a period of 4, which means that 1 quarter of these entries will have the units digit of 1 in the higher exponents. So 1 quarter of these entries will have a units digit of 1. Doing the same procedure with 9. 9 times 9 is 81, units digit of 1. 1 times 9 is a units digit of 9. And this just alternates between 9 and 1. And that what, what that means is 1 half of these entries will have a units digit of 1 for a probability of 1 half. So we have a probability of 1, a quarter, 0, a quarter, and 1 half over these entries of 20 at the higher exponents. So what that means is that the grand probability, if we select randomly in the column from 1999 to 2018 and select randomly across the units digits 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9, is just an average of the probability of these columns. These columns are all equiprobable, and we have the probability associated with a 1 for each of the columns and so the grand probability is just the average of these column probabilities. So the column probabilities are 1, quarter, quarter, and a half. We have five such columns, and that works out to two-fifths for choice E.